Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and it's pretty early in the morning on a Saturday. I mean, I, I started screwing with this a little before 7. It's a little before, oh, I don't know, was it 8 yet? Yeah, call it 8. We're, we're, you know, I've been trying for an hour. And, yeah. Yet yeah, there's no getting into GTA this fine Saturday morning. And in case you're wondering why that you can't get into GTA this fine Saturday morning. Um, Epic has announced that they're, they've they made GTA free for the week. And while I'm editing this, it just occurred to me that they're doing this while everybody is stuck at home in the world. Bored out of their minds. Yeah. Which, that sounds really great until... People kind of catch up with this concept and, on Saturday and then bury the servers so that uh, basically everything grinds to a halt and now nothing's available. Now that's the short-term problem with Epic making the games free. Here's the trick. I mean, today, yeah, we have the impact of the servers because I mean, obviously they have to adjust for the suddenly all these people logging in and setting up accounts. The creation of accounts will eventually, eventually, after maybe, I don't know how long it's going to take, will eventually taper off. But here's the trick. How many of these people making accounts are new players versus how many people are making accounts so they can mod with them for free and basically have zero, zero uh, loss of funds if they get caught? I mean, this is the perfect time. If you're going to mod, set yourself up a fake email, mod the crap out of stuff. You could you could do whatever you want. And, oh, your account's banned. Well, it was free. Now, I'm not suggesting that you do that. I'm suggesting that this is going to be a problem in the coming weeks. I have a, I have a feeling that if you thought modding was a problem before, and... Considering that I've only seen maybe 40% of my sessions at best without a modder in the last month. There have been modders everywhere. Oh, goodness. What are we in for? This, this is... Yikes. Yeah. So, here we are. We're just kind of in regular plain old GTA because we can't play GTA... It's not a thing. Uh, Wee! Splash. See, in GTI Online, I'm used to having, actually having it change your clothes. He just gets wet. You're all soggy now. I have a feeling we're, we're going to be soggy for a while. I don't know. It, we'll have to see if there's a massive uh, hit of modders. I and mean, that's the only thing I can expect to come out of this. If you don't have it, I mean, get the game. I'm going to you know, get a copy from my wife, you know, in case she ever decides to play it. Or if she doesn't, then I've got another extra couple of characters to do stuff with. Not mod. I don't, you know, I don't mod just because basic principles. There's just, you know, there's no need for that in this game. It's just really, no, no, no. It's just, and I, and I don't want to screw with people. There's no point of any of that. But, it is an infinite amount of garage space, although, you, you know, you can't really move the money back and forth, so, and, eh. But you never know. This could be, there are times you need another character, and we'll see how it goes, and and that's great. I mean, it's still a free game. And it's, it's the criminal uh, starter pack, too. I mean, it's the full up. You will be ready to play the game with a million dollars in the bank and a bunch of businesses and cars and everything and an apartment for free whenever you get in the game. And on that note, um, uh, I don't know what else to tell you. I can't really do a whole hell of a lot here. I mean, it's just... Where where'd Mike will go now? He's just wandering the streets in his suit like he has a job. He's just pretending 
to be able to do stuff. I forget, at this point in the game he might be a film producer, so maybe that counts or something. I don't know. It's film producer. <laughs> on, on that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. If it's not one thing, it's another. Well, gotta run. And Trevor, what the heck's Trevor doing? I'm famous! I've been on the news! One of the more tame transitions, really. <laughs> okay, no, you're fine. It looks wonderful! I promise! Look, stop stretching out! Is it me? Yeah! So get out of here. Next time you have to tell me what happened underneath the boardroom table. Okay, I'll get my assistant to uh, book a blow dry next week. We'll see you soon.